here at Lake Como in the Bitterroot Valley of Montana. Um, I'm just doing a little baby hike today in the snow. I'm using it mostly as a testing ground for some new equipment uh, and for my ankle. I'm currently rehabbing my Achilles, so uh, I'm going to start doing some short hikes, hopefully being able to build up to the longer ones. But we've got the frozen, well, mostly frozen lake down there, which is fun. Uh, this whole area got dusted with maybe half an inch of snow last night, so it's very pretty as well. very fresh, probably rabbit tracks from today. Look, you can actually see the little paws there, and that's probably the tail. Uh, do I know for sure this is a rabbit? No, but it looks like it's doing like hops and stuff. All right, I've reached the river at the top of the lake. Now we just have to cross and uh, go around the other side. Get back to the car. Here's the stream that Alyssa and I hiked to a couple years ago on the other side of the lake. Just like that, sunshine. You never really know. It's right around this very spot, or at least within a couple hundred meters of here, plus or minus, that uh, Alyssa and I ran into a black bear last time we were here. I was in front, and I was just coming around a bend like this, and I turned around a rock just like this, and there he was, just on the trail, about 30 feet away. And we stopped, kind of in shock for a minute. Not really, not entirely surprised to see that here, but uh, you're not ex expecting it either. You're never expecting to run into a bear. Um, 
he stopped, Alyssa kind of just bonked into the back of me. Um, and I said, we're going to turn around now. And we started singing. The ants come marching one by one. Uh, and then eventually, uh, you can see the lake down there. It was a lot lower that time of year. So we went down to the beach and followed the beach for a good mile or so before coming back up onto the trail to try and bypass the bear because we had to go past the bear to get back to our car. And it was somewhere just like this with all these little twists and turns that anything could be hiding behind. We got a live one, folks. And there's a mountain chicken. A world famous, ubiquitous mountain chicken. Oh, it's got its tail out. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, just like that. Goodbye. Oh, there's another one. There was a family, it seems. Or maybe they're looking to start a family. Whoever these tracks belong to has been very active. Uh, there's been dozens of them all over the trail, and they're all fresh. They're all from today. And look, you could see the little like pads of the toes and stuff of whatever small little rodent this was. I don't know that it is actually a bunny. It might be, because they're kind of hopping apart. But you know, they don't have the sort of big soles that you'd expect to see. But look, you can see like they've got little claws and whatnot. That's super cool. Really high definition prints. Well, we've made it to the parking lot on this side of the lake. We still have to, uh, well, cross the lake isn't quite the correct terminology. We still have to get to the other side, uh, hopefully by walking over this dam. Then we follow the road back to our car. So, that'll be fun. Here's a boat launch. It's a good time. <laughs>